Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I might have girl boss, you know, just a bit too close to the sun. It's like not me struggling to keep these all on the table, but guys, ah! I found some of the new mini brands, mini fashions at Target Olay. I had to ask the lady to, you know, get the display out because, you know, the website was lying. But guys, I was so excited that they actually had them because I have been wanting these since we kind of saw leaks and found out about them. And, you know, mini brands, if you're watching, if you want to send me, you know, more of these, um, I will gladly take it. <laughs> these are actually for, you know, doll enthusiasts or fashion people. And I'm excited to see where this line is going to bring us because I feel like these are going to be so cool, especially because they are doll scale. So this is going to be really iconic. And at the end, I'm going to show several doll brands with the bags on so you can get an idea of I want bags look good with, you know, whatever doll you're going to be. I bought seven. Actually, I bought eight, but I'm going to be opening one for TikTok. These guys are $9.99 at Target, and I believe it's going to be the same on Amazon and on Walmart's website. A typical mini brands cost $6.99, and this new mini fashions is $9.99. And you can kind of see it that the size is a little bigger for for the fashion one. But anyways, guys, let me roll the intro and we'll get right into it. Okay, guys. Oh, ah, oh my God. Oh my God. So as you can see right here, I have seven ready to be unboxed. So uh, I guess um, let's start with this guy right here since I've been holding it the most. And I'm just gonna push these off the table. Um, be gone. Okay, <laughs> so the ball is a white color. It also has a little tufted bag print all around. It has a 05 surprise logo right there. Mini fashion brands on a like little, you know, bag tag. And it says that you can get 40 plus real fabric fashion bags and accessories to collect. And guys, if you're looking for these, go ahead and take a screenshot of this and, you know, scan it in your system so you know the jail. But yeah, guys, I guess enough talking because there's not much to talk about on the ball, right? So let's get unzipping, shall we? I'm usually really good with tear strips, but not sure about these guys. Oh, ah, there we go. So the ball is just pretty much white. It's not a generic, you know, orange peel style that mini brands usually has. So let's get it open, shall we? Okay. So inside the ball, you get three items. You get the cute little checklist that is in the shape of a purse. So as you guys can see, there's not that many bags in the line. So that's actually really good in case you're trying to get all the bags. I feel like, you know, less bags is best. And there are the rare ones. We have a little Tiffany's box. I need that for my Robin doll because, you know, she's Tiffany's themed. So yeah also i would love these guys too down here but i don't know if we're gonna get any rares so we shall see and on the bottom it shows you possible accessories that you can get inside your bag and right here as well i really don't care for the dogs live without them just me i don't know about you but yeah their pamphlet is super cute but anyways let's move on to our bag so this one has the bag in it and this one has the accessories i just don't know which one to open so i'm gonna open this one so we can just see the bag <gasps> Oh my god, it is like a little Louis bag. Oh my god. It's made of that good like faux leather material and it's actually really soft feeling. I like it. And inside has some tissue. And oh my god, it's like you can really put a lot of stuff in there. I'm gagged. I'm gooped. And I feel like this would be great for Royal B. Why is this so cute? Oh my god. So it has the little hang tags. The hang tags don't really have any details on them. And the top is this kind of, is this tan color and the stitching looks actually really well. And then the print is a traditional monogram bag and it says F with the little orange peel kind of look that the original balls have. This is so stinking cute. Oh my God. These are going to be so cute for dolls. Like I can see so many people buying these just for their dolls. And honestly, this is a great idea to do. Like mini brands is known for like miniatures and a lot of people do use them for doll houses or doll photography. So you actually, you know, make something that would fit a doll is like really genius. And I'm surprised none of these companies have actually decided to do this. But okay, guys, let's open the rest of this and we can see what else we get. And I do like how the bags are made of that paper so you can actually recycle it so yes to that so in here we get a sticker of a bag that you could get i actually do want to get this bag for the bag's accessories we got a little lipstick and it actually does open and it has a little red colored lipstick inside and it doesn't go up and down it just opens and closes as for our second accessory we got this little eyeshadow palette the top is gold and it says mf for mini fashions and has some gold embedded glitter in it and the back is black and it does open and it reveals the little makeup palette inside and our last accessory we got is this 
little perfume bottle. It is a transparent blue and the lid actually does come off and you can see that it has the little nozzle that you would spray your little perfume or cologne. And I do like how the little things are functional. Like they could have just easily done this and said, this is your accessory, but I'm happy that you can actually remove the lids and all that. Okay, I'm gonna bring our bag back and see how much of this makeup we can fit in here. So we got our little palette, we have our lipstick and we have our perfume. And as you can see, there's still a lot of room in here. So if you buy more of these, you really could just fill this up with a bunch of makeup and your doll can have it ready to go. I really like that. This is what we got from Ball One. It's a really iconic haul. I'm so excited I got this bag on my first try. This is like one I really, really wanted. Let's see if I can get the peel on this one right. Eh, good enough. Just like the first one, we're gonna open the one with the baggie in it first. The amount of noises I'm going to be making in this video are very unhealthy, but, um, excuse me, Miss, Miss Bag, um, hi, welcome to the doll room, um, Miss Iconic Status, period. <laughs> oh, wow, this is, this is a stunning bag. It's like a magenta color and it has some studs right here. I can't tell if the studs on this bag are glued on or they're like actually like pushed in. It kind of feels like they might be pushed in, but we have some hardware right here in the middle and it is a patent pleather bag. This is like that shiny, shiny one. This might be over some time but it's iconic anyway it has two long straps like for your doll to possibly hold and then it has a strap that goes around to make it a crossbody and there's some harder right here that is so cool it has a little magnet inside and it just closes the bag do you see that and this is what the inside of the bag looks like and let me get the paper out wow this is such a nice bag they really did this this is like beyond quality wow honestly i don't know who i could give this to um uh, maybe stella guys I'm, I'm just like really enjoying these so far i you know i just love miniature things for dolls and th this is like so far so cool but we have a sticker of a different bag Okay, so the first accessory I got in the bag is this kind of a burnt red color brush. And the brush bristles are actually real and it is a black and white kind of blend. The Glow Up Girls actually came with something just like this, but theirs was a little thick. And this is like super perfect, oh my God. So we got our second perfume. It is the same as the last one. As you can see, it's just not blue. The last accessory is this mini clutch. It says MF for mini fashions is a hot pink color and it has some stitching right here. This is a soft plastic and it does open with a little snap, but you can't put anything inside it. Honestly, it's quite iconic and I love it. Let's just put everything we got in our bag and move on to the next one. And boop, see if it closes. Oh, yes, it closes. Okay, guys, so we're gonna hope we get another different bag. I'm really just hoping to get different bags. I could care less if I get the same accessories, you know, unless we get the Tiffany ring, then that's when I care. That's when I really will care. One, two, three. So instead of opening the bag first, I'm gonna be opening the accessories first. Why not, right? Okay, so we got the blue version of that little bag that came in the last one. We did get another one of those perfumes, but I don't mind. And we got the same little brush, but again, I don't mind either because if we get more of those makeup palettes, this will come in handy. And here's the sticker we got for that guy. And now we're gonna open the bag. Oh, please, 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 please be a different bag. Ooh, oh my God, this isn't so pretty. Okay, so it's like a, it's like a forest green color and oh my God, wow. Look at the stitching work. Those little studs again, we have a printed on zipper. It's not like a real zipper, which I mean, I understand. I mean, the bag's iconic in general. We have some hardware buckle, two straps right here as well. There's nothing on the back. There's some paper inside and it has a lot of room in it too. I actually am very happy that these bags have so much room for the accessories they come with. So here's our other bag. I love it so much. Let's put all of its little accessories inside. So we got one and three. Ball number five. I am hoping we get one of the smaller bags. Oop, anyways, it started cracking on its own, but one, two, three. So let's see what bag we got. This one feels really big. So, so let's just see what we got. One, two, three. <gasps> so it looks like it's fuzzy, but it's not. It's made of that same kind of canvas leather material, but like the details on it really make it look like it could be really, really fuzzy. And it has a magnet too, as you can see, cause it's like pushing, the chain is like all on it like that. And the chain is like made of real metal guys. But yeah, it is a kind of cheetah print bag that looks fuzzy, but it's not. It has a little black handle up here that has some gold hardware down in case you want to hold it like this. And this is black right here. It has some gold hardware in the middle and that does have a magnet to keep it. Close.
clothes. And if we go inside, it holds a lot of stuff as well. And you can really see the magnet right here. And the inside of this is kind of like a velvety lining. It's so nice. Like I'm kind of shocked by this. Like I love it. Oh my God. Let's look at the accessories we got. I'm really hoping for the Tiffany diamond because I, I just really want it. Okay guys, it's so cute. I don't know what's going on, but it's like, I'll get the sticker of the last bag I got. It's kind of weird, but here's the sticker of the green bag we just opened. We got yet another little brush. We got some sunglasses. They're black. They actually have a lens in them as well. And they actually open. Do you see? Ah! Not me breaking it already. That is the cutest little detail ever. Um, I really hope Rainbow High does the same thing with their sunglasses as they move forward because that is so cute. And then we got one of the little Chihuahua pets. Okay, let's put everything in the purse. So we got our brush, sunglasses, and our doggy. Get in there. Yep. Here we go. And let's move on. Okay, guys, we have three balls to go. And I am so excited but so nervous now because this is when duplicates become, you know, invited to the party. Okay, guys, let's open the accessories first. We are only missing 10 accessories, by the way. There's that purse I really want to get. So our first accessory is a gold jar. And if you open it up, it has some cream in it. We got a second pair of those sunglasses and we got yet another one of these lipsticks. Okay, moment of truth. Hold up, hold up. The sticker was actually correct for once. Hold up, is this the rare one? So I was thinking it was this one, but it's actually this one. I didn't think it was gonna be metallic though too, but like, okay, now I really need to get this guy right here. Oh my God, I'm having too much fun with this guys. Oh my God. So it's kind of hard for my camera to focus, but it is this super shiny, almost like a rose pink chrome bag. And it has these beautiful details all around it. We have some little charms right here. We have a little key one and a heart. And then the handles are kind of, they remind me of those like those neck pillows that are on airplanes. There's a lot of space in there as well. So we definitely could put our little jar of stuff, um, our lipstick, and even our sunglasses. Why not, right? Oh, that is so cute. But oh my God, so far we're doing really good. I don't want to jinx it. So let's knock on some um, plywood. But yeah, guys, let's move on to the next bag. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, so we're going to open this little guy first. I think this is the accessory bag. I am actually gagged right now. I am shooketh. I am speechless. <laughs> and the top has like a print to look like, you know, something. I think that's supposed to be look like snake skin or alligator skin. Um, it has a hinge and it opens. Oh my God. That is so cute. I can't believe I got a rare item on my first, on my first try with these. Um, let me see if the ring comes out. Oh my God, it comes out. <gasps> I said yes, by the way, he went to K's. Oh my God, it is a metallic little ring. I, I'm speechless, guys, I'm speechless. Oh my God, Robin can now wear this. I wonder if they could wear this, actually. I don't think it's, I think it's a little too big, but we will see. Oh my God, I did not think I was gonna get this. <gasps> oh, and it snaps closed, good, good, good. Thank you, um, who am I thinking? I bought this, goodbye. Gagged, gooped, um, everything in between. So yeah, this, this ball, I have a good feeling it's gonna be a great ball. And this was the other thing that came out of the bag. It was the little nail polish, I believe, but it does not open. It is a kind of pink color and it's cute. I did not have this either, so period. If this is the bag that I just got, I am gonna scream and you guys are gonna, you're gonna hear it. This is the other rare bag. And if I got two rares in one ball, I am gonna shit myself, literally. And the last thing we got is yet another one of these little palette thingy. Okay, moment of truth, guys. Three, two, one. Oh, okay, so it's not, oh. Okay, so it's not the one that was stickered, but definitely cute. Wow, this is nice. Okay, so it's a kind of like over the shoulder type bag. It has a real metal chain again, and it has a hot pink strap right here that has two little hardwares. And it has like this tuft look to it. Much nice quality. It's actually like heavy. And it has a little hardware right there and it has magnet. There's not that much space in this one, so that's fine, but this is so cute. High key though, I thought it was gonna be that bag. Um, a little disappointed, but um, not mad, not mad at all. Our little clutch, our nail polish, and that's all that can fit in it. I don't think the Tiffany ring can fit in there, but um, iconic, this, I mean, we got this rare guy, so we have two more rares go, and they're obviously the bag, so yes. Okay guys, so we have our last one, I'm so sad. So I don't know which one I'm expecting in this. I would like a small bag, because I've only gotten pretty big ones. Unless, I don't know. I think this is that one that looked small, but this is our smallest bag so far. So yeah, three, two, one. See what's in here. One, two, three. We got another pair of those sunglasses. There's this blue version of the bag that we just opened. And I am honestly hoping that this is real. I would die for this. This would be Robin's bag as well. Um, her we got another one of those makeup brushes and we got another one of those nail polishes. It's not a different color either. So boom, that leaves us with one more bag. It's kind of nerve wracking, but at the same time, I mean, I've had fun opening these, so I'm probably gonna get more. Okay, I feel a chain. So let's see, one, two, three. 
Ah, oh, but yeah guys, so we've got a duplicate and I have one ball left that's gonna be for TikTok. So let's see what I get with that one. And I'll come back after to see if it's a duplicate or not. But let's put all the makeup in this baggie real quickly. We got a little nail polish, a little brush, and our sunglasses. So let's see what we got. Three is a crowd, we love that. So they're all going to go to three pink dolls. I am surprised though that we got so many different bags, but now if I buy more, we are gonna be heading into duplicate territory. So that's a little scary. But but um, I don't know, we'll see. If I find more of these guys, would you like to see me open more? Just let me know in the comments down below. So here's our little bag haul for this round. I might trade two of these in, we'll see. But now guys, we are going to do the try on haul. So BRB. So first things first, let's take off her sunglasses to reveal her very pixelated face. And we're just gonna give her this pair of sunglasses to see if it fits or it doesn't. Yeah, so they fit Barbies very well. If you get these sunglasses and you're a Barbie stan, this is gonna be great for you. And since Barbie is wearing the sunglasses, the came with our pink bag. Let's see what this crossbody is gonna look like on her. So on Barbie, this is what this bag looks like on her. Pretty nicely sized, actually. It's a little big this way, but these kind of bags are typically really big. So these bags will fit Barbie very well. Now for Monster High, honestly, the bags for Monster High are humongous. And I mean, unless you're going for a big look on your Monster High dolls, they would be fine, but just bigger dolls would look a lot better. As for Ciarna from the Mermaid Highline, this is how it looks like on her. It's actually really cute and a really good scale as as well. I, I don't have any complaints about it and it actually fits her vibe very well. As for the LOL Surprise OMG dolls, it fits them pretty well. This bag is a little big, but I mean, these kind of bags are. It'd be cute for Royal Bee, like I said, because her original bag was kind of a, you know, a play on this type of bag. And now we're gonna move on to Stella. I put on that same bag that I gave Barbie because we have three. Um, It matches her very well because she has a lot of pink on her and that chain motif as well. So I feel like it just matches her aesthetic very well. It fits the Rainbow High dolls perfectly to be honest so I feel like your best bet with these bags is so Barbie, Rainbow High, OMG, Mermaid High and actually let me try one of these bags on a Bratz and as on a Bratz doll it's just really big but I feel like it would fit them very well because they do have the bigger shoes and you know it's just very much Bratz. Now I want to close off this video comparing a bag to a MGA bag. The Pacific Coast dolls all come with a kind of fake leather or material bag with each doll and I just wanted to show you a size comparison to those as well because the other bags we've gotten from Rainbow High are super duper tiny and these ones are pretty much to scale. They feel like they are the same quality. I actually do gotta say I like this one better because it has the chain details and it has a magnetic glass so it never opens and spills out. But again Rainbow High could always do this as well. It's literally a like a good dupe just in case you don't want to buy a Rainbow High doll just for their bag. So I am actually really surprised and happy with how many brands was able to do such a good quality bag. It makes me wonder if they're going to be doing maybe clothing soon for the fashion brands. I feel like that'd be so cute to do. Okay guys, so here is an overview of everything we got. I'm having Stella sit on the chair and just display the bag she's wearing at the moment. But guys, I am actually really happy with these. I think these are so fun. They are a blind toy, so you don't know which one you're going to get. So you do have the chance of getting duplicate, but these are kind of like good duplicates. So like, I'm not sure if I'm like too mad that I got these two duplicates down here. They're really good quality bags. Like I feel like they are worth their money, but also, I'm very excited to see trading go on for these because obviously people are going to get duplicates and they're going to want all 12 bags. So it's perfect. You know, I really love these and I'm so excited to see more come out. And also the little accessories that come with them are so great for dolls as well. I'm very excited to see what this collection of mini brands is going to bring for us in further launches. I'm so excited. Like, oh my God. Honestly, guys, I'm going to give these an 8 out of 10. They're all so cute. And I totally recommend, even if you just want to get one, just pick up one and you'll see how nice these guys are and everything. So. So yeah, that about wraps up my review on the mini fashion mini brands that are, I guess, I don't know when they're supposed to be coming out, but I mean, just keep checking your targets and Walmart's guys. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Jay and I do doll stuff. Duh. And I would love you to join the channel. And if you aren't following me on Instagram or TikTok, it is at zombiexcorn as well, where I post more doll stuff, of course. <laughs> and guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.